Hey guys, it's Tom from the Marketer's Toolkit. I've been getting a lot of questions recently on how to use Upload to Drive to add upload fields to the forms. So I wanted to do a quick video for you. Upload to Drive actually makes it really easy to do this. So uh, once you sign in, we have a 14-day trial available so you can test it out. Uh, so the way it works is you will first create your upload profile. And it's important that you have an upload profile for each folder that you're going to link to. And I'll give you an example here. So um, here we're going to be uploading the company logo into the onboarding forms. And the headshots are also going to be going into the onboarding forms as well. So I'll select that. This is already set up, but just showing you how it works here. We'll hit save. Next, uh, you're going to select the API, not embedding or sharing, you're going to select API. Um, if you hit one of these, you'll see it just takes you to a landing page where uh, you can email this to your clients uh, and put your company logo and things like that, and they can just upload it there. But this is what integrates directly with Go High Level. So you'll copy that to your clipboard, and then you'll go to your form. So this was the headshot, for sure. This was the company logo. So we're going to go underneath the company logo, and you're going to put a HTML element underneath the company logo here, and paste that stuff. Now, if you took that same exact code and put it here, it does not work. It messes things up. So uh, this code will not work, so we need to get the code for, for the headshots thing. Even though they're both saving to the same folder, you have to have a different upload profile for each field. Now, what this does when we hit integrate form is you'll see here, it actually removes the text field from the form. You'll see this text field right here will disappear and replaces it with an upload thing. So if you, anyway, needless to say, it'll mess it up if you uh, put two of the wrong, two of the same profile on the same folder. So hope that makes sense. So this is how it works. I'm going to upload something. Select this one. And you can select multiple files as well. Great. So now um, I'll hit submit. And that's just the default thank you form action. So now if we go back to the contact area, this is what it ends up looking like. Um, so in the additional info area, uh, you now have the, the files here, and you can click on open, open in Google Drive. Now a good thing to know is, so we've uploaded those files. Now where did they go? So we chose onboarding forms. Uh, now, the cool thing is because we know that it was the same folder, it grouped them together into one folder under and we name it uh, by something identifying in the form field. So if there, if there was a name field in the form, it would have named the folder by the, the guy's name. Uh, in this case, there was no name field, so they named it by the email. Um, and if there's no email, then it's going to name it by the organization. So all of your files are grouped neatly over here and uh, there's one last step that you need to do to get the uh, get this so that it opens in Google Drive like this and that is over here next to the extra notes for go high level integration so you want to click this button here and copy this code here and put it in your agency JavaScript settings, your custom JavaScript settings in your dashboard itself, and then you'll be good to go. So if you guys have any questions or run into any problems with it, uh, just let me know. Um, I'm always available via Facebook and uh, very happy to help. All right, see ya.